Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weeklies. Um, right now we're gonna bring some Spanish flavor. Hola! <laughs> How are you? Buenos dias, buenas noches, buenas tardes. Buenas, buenas, buenas. <laughs> That's what I say to the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for your weeklies. We are gonna be proceeding with um, wait, I'm talking to my producer. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm checking the calendar, guys. 15 to the 21st, okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I made an announcement. By the time you're watching this, there's still the one-year subscription down there. And for people, we heard, we heard, we listen. For the people who cannot get into the one year, we are creating a half-year subscription. Why not? Okay, so for people who just wants, you know, um, half a year, there's an option also there. So either you get the whole year subscription for career financial and love, there's right, right there. So basically, it's like an insurance. You have annual and semi-annual. There you go. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Those are not going to be uploaded here, okay? So do subscribe if you want to get your financial um, career um, love reading in one pack. You have now one year subscription and you also have a six month subscription. Here we go, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And that's only gonna be available January. And then uh, we won't because that's how the year starts. You know what, I'm gonna just start my reading. Let's begin. Aries, um, marrying spread, marrying spread, which means this side, this side. We marry it in extended. We see one side over here, how this person is. We have two decks, tarot, and then cartomancy. Get my flavor? Got it. Here we go. Let's see okay, what is going on for my Aries. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. <sighs> see, I knew it though. Someone's been watching you because in the pre-shuffle it was there. You have here the Knave of Swords. You can see it. I know they really tried to make sure that it focuses on the center. But my lighting is not correct. Okay. Let's figure it out later. <laughs> okay. So you have the Knave of Swords. Um, um, someone is observing you. Okay. Or you're observing them. It can be stalkerish. Other people call it in and say, well, I've been checking out their social media, you know, I've been <laughs> looking around, um, and this is day to day. Like when you start early morning, someone already checks out your Snapchat, your Instagram story, you see them in their feed also. Um, chances are, if they're popping out in your feed, it means like they've been watching. They've been trying though to communicate with you, but they don't know the best time to approach you, okay? I mean, when do you really... I mean, when can you really approach an Aries? Not sure. <laughs> okay. So there's a level of hesitation because they don't know what time is good for you. Okay. Let me see here because they're a knave. It can be younger air sign. Let me see the other person here. Oh, death card. So you could be saying to this person, telling them, um, you're dead to me. So there's nothing for us to talk about. So not sure why you're watching me. You know, if it's a Scorpio, we know the level of obsession of early degrees of Scorpio, which is Jeshta, is to always find out what it is. It's not really like a Mula, because Mula will get to the root. Jeshta just wants to do it, okay? <laughs> because they want to. And they can be as stubborn as same thing as a Taurus energy, because Jeshta will have to. I need to, I want to, I need to know, I want to communicate. Level, um, you know, level of um, direct energy towards you. That's the death card. Someone could have probably stopped talking to you and then now what they're doing is just like stopping you because death card is an ending. Someone is also here mourning of a loss of a relationship. Got here the Knight of Cups. Okay. So they feel this person's energy is that we have something going on here. You're my, you're, you're, you're someone I have feelings. You're someone that I like. Okay, and I need to talk to you, but they don't know. They're they're charting into uncharted territory. But in this person's end, you can remain in the uncharted territory because you can't involve me with the three of cups energy. You have three of cups. 
I ain't about that one. So this is how it, this is why probably it ends with the, um, I'm gonna hide my, my, my face. Oh, um, it doesn't, sorry, my face can't be hidden, they say. <laughs> I need to focus there. Um, with the Three of Cups energy, it says like, I can't be part of this. Like, you can't, like, don't get me involved in something that's all about fun, you know? Especially with the death card, it's all about serious. Since when death is not serious, right? It's like, it's dead, okay? So you cut someone off because they're not serious about you. They do want to, but for you it's just like, nah. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means, but you say, nah. <laughs> with the six of ones energy, see? This person really, one, good looking, I might, might say, okay? You have a taste, um, Aries, just saying. <laughs> Been with one, still with one. Okay. Um, so you you see this person or they see you as someone that's like, oh my god, like this person has just so many people around them. Six of Wands. You know, there are people who's trying to get your attention or, you know, like vice versa for a cross watcher. Don't get lost, Mira. Okay. Here we go. Let me see. Under the Three of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you have Jupiter and Scorpio over here. So um, remember, this is a combination also of astrology. So as right now, um, Jupiter is in your eighth house. Aries rising, even though your moon, do it your gotcha. Okay, make your moon is your ascendant. Um, sorry if I'm. S oh my god, that's disgusting. Why did I sniff like that? <laughs> sorry. Okay. So in your eighth house, <laughs> you have to edit that. <laughs> in your eighth house, Jupiter is in Scorpio right now. So there is someone can be right there for you but i feel that they do feel like you guys are soulmate um but they cannot explain it because it's something deep and but eighth house is not really a relationship they just feel like you guys are in a relationship <laughs> they're probably feeling it but you're not don't get lost trust me i'll put you guys back together you got a tower you have a death card and a tower we're getting out the other tarot so there was a separation magician scorpio jeshta another six of wands energy Okay, getting a lot. Hold on to your horses. Other tarot is saying over here. Okay, you ended something because you can, or this person is. However, they're still not gonna let go mm -mm. because you have fated card over here. Someone here feels that this is fated. So regardless how much we end this connection, it ain't over. This is what this energy is coming to. Mira, don't go. Stay here. Benga. Here we go. Cartoon C. Okay. Sit down. Someone is watching you. They feel a good connection with you. They're good looking. A lot of people. A lot of people. This person. Damn. Okay, they may be younger, but damn. Okay, this is a six of one energy. On this person. I can't be with you if you are entertaining so much people. Three of Cups. Let fate decide how this is gonna go. But for now, the tower, this is over. Put more effort with the magician, and then we'll see if you're gonna be victorious. You have two Six of Wands. Damn this person. Regardless, they're king, knight, knave, whatever they are, a lot of people attracts to them. Okay? Follow? King of Clubs. Person has a plan. Eight of diamonds to mesmerize you, to make you feel ten of hearts. This person is brewing something. It ain't tea, no coffee, but this person is trying, this person, to get attracted to them, to commit. But they ain't doing anything with the Knave of Swords. They are still thinking and they're still planning. You got me. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading. We're gonna marry the situation how both people align their energy and at the same time what the other person is gonna do as this person attempts okay to win someone who has ended the connection because i ain't gonna be a part of your party because this one is the only party you got me all right so aries i'm gonna continue this reading these are your weeklies okay so link down there in the description box for your annual and semi-annual so don't be coming at me that, oh, I didn't get the notice. Here is your notice. Here's the receipts. All right? I'll see you guys again, Aries. Bye.